My name is Sybil Erden. I'm the executive director and founder of the Oasis Sanctuary in Benson, Arizona. We bought an old pecan orchard. We moved out here with 250 birds. We were the first organization in the United States to be given a 501c3 as a life care facility for exotic birds. There's such an extraordinary need for this sort of a facility. Um, we're one of the few established facilities in the country that does not adopt out any birds. In fact, right now 60% of the birds we're getting are coming in from adoption programs and governmental agencies and other organizations, humane societies and so forth. We take in another uh, percentage from people who are going into nursing homes hospice care, uh, retirement, but a lot who have died in the world of birds. We take very few birds in from the public. So when people ask us, why don't we adopt out our birds, there are so many birds that all the adoption programs in the country are overflowing and have waiting lists. There are, by conservative estimates, between 16 and 18 million parrots living in six and a half million homes. Half of those birds are in homes of people over the age of 40. There are seven and a half million parrots living in the homes of baby boomers. Even if half of the baby boomers' birds don't outlive their owners, that, that will still mean that within the next 15 years we will need to place in excess of three and a half million birds. There are veterinarians who are already euthanizing or culling birds for their caregivers because the caregiver doesn't want them anymore or because they're plucking or they're mutilating or they're too loud. So long as these intelligent beings are considered property and that there is such a thing as ownership of life, uh, people will be able to destroy these animals at will and even the ones who don't want their birds destroyed are not going to have a whole lot of option in another 10 to 15 years. We currently have 500 birds in residence and we have about 100 other animals, uh, cats, dogs, farmed animals, horses, donkeys, uh, reptiles, animals that really had no place else to go. But even if we just continue growing by 50 birds a year, that means that there are going to be a lot of birds that need our services that are turned away. Currently I'm hearing about 1,500 birds a year uh, or more needing placement. The thing that really worries me is of the birds that really need this sort of retirement community where they need to be able to be birds again and not pets, we're probably turning away half the birds that are not going to have really good options. The only way that we're going to be able to handle more and more birds in the short term is by continuing to build more aviaries, more bird buildings, bringing more qualified help, and that includes housing for the help and all of that. I have no doubt that as word gets out that the people who need to support us will show up build it and they will come. The need is there and the donor base that we have, um, there are 3,000 people who keep us afloat and they are absolutely phenomenal people. We just need more. You know, if there are six and a half million homes out there, here's the funny thing, there's six and a half million homes. If each home sent us one dollar a year, we could do everything we needed to do. We could get it all going.